back to another episode. So, I just got done watching Jessica Jones Season 2 on Netflix. Um, let me just say, it is pretty good. I mean, the twists were just keep on coming and whatnot. Which surprised me because, well, didn't really surprise me because I'm a nerd. Shocker. <laughs> Anyways, no shocker there. Um, but, um, yeah, it dealt with, um, family. It dealt with a lot of family issues, like, for example... We got, um, there was a, um, what was it, um, we found out that, um, what truly happened to Jessica's mom, um, and that she didn't die in the car accident, which I believe did happen in the comics, not 100% sure. But, um, I do believe it does happen that her mother is actually alive. And that's pretty much what brought season two into this format. The IGH, um, storyline arc type thing. Um, oh, um... Let's talk about some of the references. Well, when she said heroes die, she was really referring to Matt. <clears throat> Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil. Daredevil. Because of the whole um building explosion from Defenders, which technically it, this takes place after Defenders season one. So, impressive. So, that and um, we saw where each Characters, each character were at or are at in their transitioning from the first season to from to Defenders to now. Jessica, I mean, yeah, Jessica Jones, um, working, um, with Malcolm, um, Trish, um, being over, um, being addicted to, um, being addicted to trying to get powers, which she eventually does, it's towards the end of the season, which could possibly be showing up in season three, probably, probably, but we might see that season on Disney's streaming service. So that's pretty cool. And the whole, I've noticed a few different references. There was a Limitless reference, which is a good movie and a good TV show. Um, and Cloak and Dagger. Now, Cloak and Dagger is a good comic. <laughs> and... There was some pretty good, um, I would say, 
I would say X-Men references because one, they like said she, there was quite a few X-Men references. Like they always they they kept on bringing Gifted into a conversation, and Gifted is an X-Men ish um oh well, not X Men ish um storyline but um it it does have X Men characters so that could have probably it could probably have been taking place like oh, six months after a few months after gifted Maybe a few months prior to Gifted, so you have that aspect. And Cloak and Dagger is getting their own season on ABC Family, or what was ABC Family, now it's Freeform. Um, which... They know the Jessica Jones, Cloak and Dagger, The Runaways. Um, ties nicely in that section. section. And now I, I was thinking since she mentioned Cloak and Dagger, like, I would say four times. And since Cloak and Dagger are in are getting their own season right around the corner, pretty much on free form, that might be I would say that's pretty close to being connected to Shadow Hunters and Stitchers and stuff like that on Freeform. So I would say that would be a pretty good tie in to for Shadow Hunters and Cloak and Dagger to cross over eventually, maybe. That would be a good way to introduce Shadow Hunt um Shadow Hunters into the MCU, which would be a pretty inventive way, but um, <clears throat> back to the Defenders reference. When she was crossing, when she was going away, she was talking to her mother about. Uh, about Daredevil. Daredevil dying <clears throat> but she thinks pretty much essentially essentially they she's she thinks Matt is dead. So, even though season three of Daredevil will be bringing the Born Again storyline to us on Netflix before Disney starts their streaming services next year, and <clears throat> Captain America, well, that was a, that was a good indication. Those, um, the Captain America reference was beautiful. Just, there was, like, I would say, two Captain America references. It's because, one, <clears throat> the kid was like, do you know Captain America? And I think she nodded. I saw, I think I saw a nod there. And, um... Yeah, 
and he said that he lost his shield, which he does lose his, which he does lose his shield, but we see him get a new shield, and that's when he said, I did get him a new, I, I made him a new shield, which does happen in the comics, I think, oh, in the MCU and in the comics, so, pretty clever tie-in into the bigger MCU movies and whatnot, <clears throat> and the, the cop, she said, I know how you people like to team up, which I was thinking, when she said that, you people to Jessica, Jessica, <clears throat> I was thinking, was she talking about the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, the Runaways, the Defenders, this Cloak and Dagger, the Avengers, what, or just all those teams just together, together, in general. And or the gift or gifted, um, what did she mean by that? I mean, I would say she meant by. I think she was talking in general because that was pretty much a. I want to say a comic book reference, or. Referred to comic books. Because. In the comics. Everybody. I mean. And I mean everybody. In the comic books. Share. The same universe. Like X-Men can cross over to her. <clears throat> The Avengers, the Avengers can cross over to Cloak and Dagger and all that other stuff. And the lizards. Big giant lizards. Ninja Turtle reference. It's because they are a Marvel based property. I believe I'm not one hundred percent sure, but I, I think I'm pretty right about that. So, yeah, you got a little bit of comic book. You got Ninja Turtles reference, which, which made me think if, which started me making me think. If one of her potential clients mentioned six foot tall lizards, lizards, lizards who can fight, I think I believe that's what she said. Yeah, anyways. She was referring to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is, I want to say, IDW comic or Boomdoc comics, which I want to say is one of Marvel's um, allies, I guess, partners or something like that. <clears throat> and... I was thinking, okay, Marvel, IDW Comics, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles, Boomdocks, 
It's Power Rangers. All fits together. All connected. You got Marvel. Ninja Turtles. Power Rangers. Boom, boom, boom. It's like Mickey Mouse. The shape of Mickey Mouse. Oh! <laughs> oh, and, um, honestly, Image Comics. So, Marvel, Image Comics, Boom, uh, IDW Comics, and Boom Dot Comics. Which is pretty impressive. Um, reference, so, I kind of want to see what goes on, I mean, I want, I want to see more, and potentially, potentially, we will get more, so, anyways, that's all I have for you guys today, please like, and subscribe. And have a good day. Bye.